In this video I will make Jodim Sulfur. I think you and I will need this one organic concoction. This Jodim Sulfur was discovered by Young Sung Cho from South Korea. Jodim Sulfur really helped me, especially since I live in a tropical area. I have a lot of agricultural problems. Starting from caterpillars, moth caterpillars to fungus. Moreover, I plant in open land. I use 1250 grams of sulfur, because I want to make 5 liters of Jodim Sulfur. I made this Jodim Sulfur to deal with the fungus that infects my lettuces. While for controlling insects, I use JWA and JHS. Both of these will later have their own videos. Then I added 125 grams of salt. And 1000 grams of sodium hydroxide. It is an important ingredient in making Jodim Sulfur. Jodim Sulfur is made without heating, does not damage plastic and steel pipes of greenhouses. After all the ingredients are added, all we have to do is add water. The water used should be soft water. Water with a low TDS, below 100 parts per million. The addition of water is carried out in two stages. The first addition of water is as much as 2.5 liters. Use long wooden stick to gently and thoroughly stir so those ingredients are well mixed with water. Do not use metal, aluminum, sticks. Sulfur and caustic soda will react and produce heat. Temperature will exceed 80 degrees Celsius or 176 F, and sulfur will start to melt. So, be careful when stirring it. Check with the stick that there is no remaining sulfur on the bottom. Stir thoroughly and dissolve completely. If you stir slowly for 20 minutes while the heat is high, all the sulfur will melt.
add a second water of 1.6 liters and keep stirring. Then let it sit for 1 to 2 days. After two days, take out the clear upper portion, put in thick plastic bottles for storage. If you leave it in the container you made it, it will form layers with different concentrations of sulfur. sediment will form at the bottom. The color is black. We'll see, in this second bottle the color is more black. No problem, within a few days this black color will sink to the bottom of the bottle. Okay. That's how to make Jodham sulfur. You can already make Jodham Sulphur. The good news for Jodham Sulphur is that it doesn't have an expiration date. It can be used forever. Thank you for watching.